other, uh, and again, I went to Bristol, and again, I want to concentrate on, uh, I don't know, some, I have a feeling there are a lot of uh, English, uh, British here in this region, so <laughs> I'm inclined to read more of uh, English poems. And uh, there's a poem called, uh, if you know Bristol, I went to Bristol, and uh, you know, Bristol was along with the Liverpool and uh, and uh, London, uh, one of the major slave trade centers. They will ship uh, the coffin ship that will put. Uh, they will put these um, slaves, or or even Ireland from Ireland, the, uh, the famine the, during the famine. They they put on these coffin ships, and half of them will die on the way. Some will reach America, and then it will be like big, you know. Otherwise, uh, so this this kind of. Uh, and I was so upset there, and they were asking Tony Blair to ask for forgiveness, saying that, well, you should, you should, you should ask, you should be sorry for it. I, I thought it was very crazy. Why should he be sorry? This is a thing of past then. But he, he was, he, he, he was apologizing. He was asking for uh, the thing that happened in the past. So poem is called A Visit to Bristol. A visit to Bristol would make you about a century older. At the white quay, icy rainstorms would shake you off your balance, tearing your umbrellas into tatters. From the parched throat of the famed lion, you would hear sighs and stifled groans for the waters that have dried over the decades. A local gentleman would slyly leave open the door of the toilet, facing your free sofa at the Coffee Republic. Then and there, you would learn your shame of being a Gandhi. You would start hearing muffled cries of captives piercing skies of Newfoundlands, cages reeking of human faces and goat urine and tears of slime dripping like black tar from just God's own eyes. You would hear thunder of a nail being stuck on someone's head at St. Nicholas's Market. You would imagine a human head cut and stuck like a trademark or a trophy on someone's polished ivory door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We do deal, deal with. We do deal with. You would see a flash of light in ancient mariner's eye. Is his heart pouring rivers of darkness? Even old Neptune's trident of blunt blades wouldn't guard guilt of your skies. Mr. Kurtz, he's dead long ago. Only at the slow food market, hardy folks would resume their old roles and resort to the oldest trade of the land at the very doorsteps of Super Saintsbury's. Sussex turkey, thawed mulwine, brown cows organic, Gloucestershire cheese, York's homemade minced pies. A visit to Bristol would teach you to count time on your own life as steps on a stairway ending in an abyss. One, two, ten, twenty, forty, one, two. A visit to Bristol would make you about a century older. 